here I will show you how to find and install fonts using our Ash Design templates. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a template. And for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and use our In the Zone softball template. Um, this template, once it opens, if there are fonts that are missing, it will tell you which fonts are miss missing. It's telling us that Steelfish Regular is missing. We're going to click Don't Resolve because I want to show you how to install the font yourself. So then if I look over here in my layer palette, I'll see that, in fact, one font is missing. And that is this West Groton High School uh, font layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up. We're going to do File Open. We're going to look inside the folder that came with your template. And inside this folder, there's all sorts of files in there. One of them is a font list. So let's go ahead and right click on that. We'll open that up with, I'll choose Notepad here. And this is going to show us um, the, all fonts that are included with this template and where you can find them. So we've got links on this page. And this is a great resource, um, ashdesignfonts.com slash um, fonts. So let's copy that, control C. Then let's, op then let's open up a web browser and let's paste that URL in, control V. Again, try on your keyboard. And that'll take us over to our font page. Um, up top, we'll show you all of the links to different font sites that we use to download free fonts. And under this are some commonly used fonts that we use. Um, and a lot of these you can click right on them and it will go right to the font page. Um, Steelfish, uh, let's go down and look in the S's. I don't believe it's here. It is not here. Um, so we're going to go back up to the top. I really like Defont. I get 99% of our fonts from there. So let's go ahead and click on Defont. I'm going to go back to my font file. And I'm just going to copy this because I want to copy and paste so I know I'm getting the right font. So Control C to copy. Then let's come over here in their search box. We'll do Control V and we'll search. And that'll bring up Steelfish right here. So then we can click download. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that somewhere on our system that we can later go back to. Um, for the sake of this, I made a font folder inside this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and save it right there. Um, and we're going to wait just a second for that to go ahead and save. Um, this is going to come down as a zip file. So what that means is that we need to unzip it to get to the files inside. I am going to show you how to install this on a Windows computer. Um, Defont has some really, if we go back here and click on the Defont logo, it's going to take us to the home page. Um, in their frequently asked questions section, it will show you how to install fonts on Windows computers, Macintosh computers, Linux computers. Um, so I do suggest that you use that if you are using something other than, other than Windows. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's go back to our Photoshop file. Okay, so we're going to go back into that font folder where I saved it, and you'll see that Steelfish is here, and you'll see that it's zipped. It's a compressed zip folder. So I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to extract everything inside that folder. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Extract, and that's going to extract right inside this same folder here. And you can see that it created a folder up top. So when we right-click on that, we're going to see everything inside here. So Steelfish Regular was the font that we wanted to install. So I'm going to right click here and simply choose Install. And that's going to install it on my system so that, okay, yes, we're going to say that we want to go ahead and do that. Um, so now this will be installed. So let's hit Cancel here. Now that we've come back to our template. If we now double click on this, it's going to tell us um, that edit, editing or rendering the text um, can cause a layout change. That's fine. Go ahead and click OK on that because 
it's going to now recognize steelfish has been entered in the system. And you can see that your caution um, triangle has gone away, which is fantastic. And now you are ready to edit your text. So the text here is highlighted. So we'll go ahead and make this our high school name. Let's change the date.